feeling why I slang though. 3700 for this bill. His head. Strapped up, rocking all purple like his saints, bro. Anyway, my blood colors so hit me with the fish punch. So I've been in the process of uh. You know, getting ready to move and shit, because we move in like 13 days. You got to pour a whole pint in one pot for the culture, right? I'm trying to leave, but the ghetto made me who I am. I broke this shit down like basketball, because I'm the truth. I should, I've been thinking about making a motherfucker be like, Snow White, the truth. Make a motherfucker call me that. You have to say the whole thing. It'd be like a pimp name slip back. Nah, it'd be Snow White, the truth. And you'd have to say the whole shit. But I realized there's some Oliver Anthony shit to talk about. Unk sniffed the line and fell out. I guess the Fetty working. Anyway, so heard you call body yesterday. Was it worth it? So anyways, Oliver Anthony, I guess had some show going on that he don't cancel he don't cancel it because they were hiking ticket prices yeah. now at first i said well that's what i would do too if i found that out because i done made so much off the of youtube y'all not gonna hike up my ticket prices like that but then i thought about it and I said, wait, end of the day, these people paid that amount of money to, to, for those tickets. It don't matter what you agreed with the promoter for. The promoter of the show and y'all, you got to understand, he's going to tell you your rate and he's going to skim off the top. That's how this has always worked. It's called business. You feel what I'm saying? What, the promoter's going to make nothing? Is that what, you know what I'm saying? That's how I started thinking about it. I said, wait. So instead of just doing the show, right? Instead of just doing the show, everybody already paid the up hiked prices for it. It don't matter. Just give the fans what they fucking wanted and play the show. Why you don't do that? Like if I went there and I paid that money, I wouldn't care if it was up hiked or not. Play the damn show. If you was really for the people, you say, fuck that. I'm going to refund all y'all shit with my YouTube money that's astronomical now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this free show in this parking lot for all y'all and everybody walking by. That's what you would have done if you was doing something real. The fuck? You think you're going to get the whole permit harassment over it? No, you're not. You're Oliver Anthony. <laughs> doing the show right outside the venue. Even if the venue called the cops, they'd probably be like, let them go for now. Let them keep doing it. Who's supposed to be here anyways. Let well, him just do this shit. You feel what I'm saying? I promise you, you could probably, you could probably, you could have probably swung it. Especially in the red state, you could have swung it. It's not like your music is so controversial that they would just shut you down. This feeds into the whole, he didn't really want to be in this position narrative. It feeds into that. But at the same time, it's like, it's like, bro, like, I see the news trying to spin something to make him look good right here. Because really, if you break it down, why were they up hiking the shit? Was that to pay their employees and all that shit? Because that's, that's what happens. That's how that works. What, you think those people just work for free? No. <laughs> look, Oliver Anthony, I want to I wanna legally rob a bank too. Okay? <laughs> Without even going to the bank, just like you did. But at the same time, what you're doing since is not what I would do. Not what I would do. The way the news tried to spin it made it at first be like, well, that was, that's what I would do. And then I'm like, no. You got all these people who came here and paid up high rates to come see your ass. You, you could have refunded them. You had the money to refund them because I promise it's not more than like 5 to 10K people. You see what I'm saying? You could have refunded them. And then when you refunded them, you could have still played a free show in the parking lot till the cops told you to leave if they ever did. 
That's what real motherfuckers would have done back in the day. This shit's crazy. Form DD inside, all alerts off. My best advice is break a fentanyl. I hope they come back here hating on me for this. I hope they do. I really hope they do. No, this shit's crazy, bro. Shit's crazy. I don't understand it. Personally, I'm looking at it like... Now I'm like, well, that's kind of fucked up. Of course they're going to uphike something. I mean, I can see if they're crazy uphiked. But still, do something for the people, man. You you got what you want. You got to show out for it. Or you could just take your YouTube money and disappear into the sunset. You're set for life if you, with how you live your life. You wouldn't have to change a damn thing. Keep that goddamn camper. Just live your life and you set for life. You can even buy a couple properties. You can even buy a couple properties and a couple other properties just to rent out to other people. And landlord shit. Set for life. Slumdog millionaire. Still in the hood and still on that street shit. I sell drop so I can't go to sleep, bitch. Can't go back to what I had to jack shit. Uh, but anyways, man, I just had to speak on that shit with Oliver Anthony. At the same time, side note, Lil Wayne, bro. Put the guitar down. BG's home. Hot Boys reunion. Let's go. I don't care what slider none of them say. I want to see y'all at 40 doing some Hot Boys part two. It'd be like the Expendables for rap music. I think that should be fucking cool. Could you imagine Big Pun at 60 and he's on the same antics? The, the pre-Deep Cover 98 antics. Like the, the Bridgeport Terminator antics. Like the Joey told you about Connecticut, man. Ain't nothing here for your ass. Ain't nothing here for your ass. Yeah, it's a rich state with some of like the poorest cities in the country. It's, it's crazy because like there's certain cities where it looks like a manhunt level. Like out here, people on the internet made me start calling this shit Silent Hill. When I came back from Detroit, I started spending a lot of time in Waterbury. I was like, yo, this is literally like, and I'm not the only people who have said it. People who have never been to Detroit used to be like, like my boy Mitch was like, Waterbury Mall to 5 p.m. on a Sunday. Is like, like or he said, Waterbury Mall after 5 p.m. is equivalent to Detroit on a Sunday. And you know, I told him, I said, he said, yo, that's the realest shit you could have ever said because it's so true. And the thing is, like, Waterbury Mall is kind of like Milford Mall, except it doesn't only exist to attract people from both hoods. To one. It, it exists to, like, be in the hood and attract other hoods. But, like, Milford Mall was specifically, I think, put there because it's like, hey, New Haven and Bridgeport can meet in the middle. And there's no other, it's the closest mall to both of them. Like, malls was part of MK Ultra. I'm gonna let you know that. Fucking the last shooting that happened in Denver happened at the mall. And that bitch drove herself to the hospital. And I, I think she was 15 too. She wasn't, she wasn't even supposed to drive. She drove herself to the hospital. <laughs> so it's just crazy to me, bro. It's just crazy. Like, but yeah, Oliver Anthony, if he did what I think he did, that's a bitch move. Just a and you stiffed them on the back end, bro. Did did you stiff them on the back end? Cause you could easily have took the back back end and been like, then the show's canceled. Especially if it was an advanced, bro. If they advanced you the back end, yeah, yeah, yeah. You a bitch then. You the biggest bitch if you did that. It's not like the fans, like you gotta understand any business up hike anything, bro. That's called making profit. This shit don't make no sense, bro. You can't give everybody everything for the lowest rate, bro. If it was really about that to you, you would have done the show for free in the parking lot and gave them all their money back from your YouTube earnings. The motherfucker will put their hand on the Bible every five minutes just to tell you that they're not doing what they're doing and be lying the whole time. Like, this is why when, when he came out, I even was like, I don't trust this. Like I didn't, I didn't trust this motherfucker. I was like, you a little bit too bright, new, and shiny for my liking. I've seen you one too many times today, sir. I've seen you too many times. What's up with you? Like, what's going on? No, it's really good. <laughs> if I get snatched up at the least. No, but I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I really feel like he's playing everybody, and only like the realest of motherfuckers can see it. If you're a country music fan, automatically you're unable to see it. 
Like how you can't tell me nothing about no rap music? Yeah. I'm out this bitch, babe.